Let's write the decimal 5.25 as a fraction. So here's how we can do that. First, let's call it 5.25 over 1. It's still 5.25, we're just dividing by 1, but now we have the start of a fraction. Whenever I have one, two decimal places after the decimal point, I'm going to multiply this by 100, and that'll give me a whole number. So I can take 100 times 5.25, that ends up giving me 525. But I can't just multiply the numerator. I also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 divided by 100 is 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 100 times 1 is 100. And now we have a fraction. 5.25, that equals the fraction 525 over 100. But we can reduce this. We can simplify this down to lowest terms. Let's do that. So 25 would go into both 525 and 100. 25 into 525, that equals 21. And then 25 into 100, that equals 4. So we end up with 21 fourths. 5.25 equals the fraction 21 fourths. This is an improper fraction because 21 is bigger than 4. So we could change it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 21 five times with one left over. And we just bring the 4 across. So that would be a mixed number. We could check that. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 1, that gives us the 21. And we just keep the 4 the same. So in answer to our question, when we write the number 5.25 as a fraction, we get 21 fourths or the mixed number 5 and 1 fourth. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.